Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition video but before we get into that guys let's go over the results of the previous object competition which was Trappist 1E. So looking at the results here Exiled Neptunian absolutely took this one by storm they had eight votes everyone else was on two so yeah they absolutely decimated this one so a massive congratulations to them with their object right here so this was um, yeah, Exiled Neptunians so it was the uh, very uh, more ocean heavy very frozen up as we can see here i believe it was tidally locked as well yes it was so it had that tidally lock effect it had the obviously the oceans on it on the front and yeah very nice frozen up look so yeah congrats to them for their first ever object competition win i believe and yeah with that all said and done guys massive thank you to everyone who participated last week but let's get into today's competition okay everyone so before we get into today's competition Size Comparison 2021 should be releasing tomorrow and like I said at the start of um, this new series of object competitions all of the objects which have won a competition so far and the one that wins this competition as well will be included in that video so stay tuned for that it's going to be a good one hopefully so um, yeah really looking forward to actually making it actually I should be making it within the next 24 hours hopefully I can obviously get it up for um, the channel's five year anniversary which is tomorrow the 1st of August so yeah stay tuned for that. I'm looking forward to doing it, and I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing it as well. But yeah, now, on to today's um, final object competition for the size comparison. So Proxima D. So um, this one has a an unknown radius. Okay, interesting stuff. An orbital period of 5.15 Earth days. Okay, and the temperature could be around 30K. Okay, interesting. So yeah, thanks for stuck in for those um, extra details. So let's go ahead and see what you guys have prepared for us for the final object competition um before the size comparison so right oh okay oh wow we okay so this is proxima d isn't it okay so we've got some proxima b's remember so we've got to make sure we don't place the wrong one in so we just have to make sure so b this one's b as well proxima d okay so the first one here is from mad planet guys let's see what he has uh, made for us today let's pause the simulation place it in there Okay, ooh, interesting stuff indeed. So there's my planet, guys. Ones. We'll go. We'll place them all before we go through them all. So then we have um, Exiled Neptunians. So the winner of the previous competition. Let's place that one in there. Okay. Then we have uh, Vladazus. Place their one there as well. Then we have Sirens one. Going to place that one in. Okay. Then we have Pluto Neon's version. Let's place theirs there. Okay. Uh, then Scario. I hope I'm saying your name right. And lastly, we have uh, Chen Sitch at the very end there. So let's go ahead and uh, place them all in. Okay, so let's uh, turn off all the labels and all that stuff. Okay, so going through them all in more detail now. So here is Mad Planet Guy's Proxima D. So as we can see, it looks like it's gone with a custom texture to add some craters in there. No atmosphere. Oh, no, no, there is an atmosphere. Now, if you look very carefully, it's got a very faint atmosphere. Um, let's also go to uh, da -da -da, simulation. I always forget how you do the view modes. It's really, really weird. Lighting, yes, studio. So that's what it looks like from behind. Yeah, so all custom texture. It's got some like interesting like pinky areas um, on it as well. Obviously um, the craters, but yeah, there we go. So there's my planet, guys. Uh, let's go to realistic again. Well, no, not realistic. We need directional, don't we? So there we are. So this one here. So this was um, Exiled Neptunians, I believe. Um, so let's just search Proxima. Okay, so this was. It's really, it's really annoying. The game has to do this. So, yeah, with Mad Planet guys, one, uh, Prox. Okay, where, where, where are we? So, oh, it's so weird why it does that. I'm not sure if this is actually a. I oh, don't know, no, no, so this was definitely exiled in it. Yeah, okay, cool. I don't know what this object's doing mixed in there, so that's weird. So, yeah, this is um, exiled Neptunians one. So, cool. So as you can see, he's gone with a, a very, very green landscape. So it looks like he's going for like a life, a, a world of life build. Interesting stuff indeed. So an Earth-like build, I should say. So there it is there. Um, let's also go and just have a quick peek around. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just use the rotate button. I think that's probably easier. So there it is. So it's got it's very ocean-heavy, almost like the uh, Pacific Ocean on Earth. So very ocean-heavy there. And then we've got the mainland area here. But yeah, very, very green in colour indeed. And obviously, um, we've got some polar caps going on in the north and south as well. Okay, cool. So there is um, Exiled Neptunians. Right, next up we got uh, Vladizus's one. So they've gone with a much more bland, dark green sort of effect. It's got some clouds on it as well, looking good. Give it a full rotation round. So yeah, they've gone with the um, a more, more, I could probably say a more realistic sort of look. 
um, to it is maybe that's the right word. I mean, the, like um, Stuckin has put in the description here, it's m most likely to be a barren, warm, Mars-like world, maybe with some oxidization on the surface. So yeah, it's up to interpretation how that would look. But yeah, this is um, Vladizus's interpretation. So there it is there. Okay, so yeah, obviously very, very sort of dark green. I do like the clouds on it as well. So there's that one. Next up, we have got Siren, Siren's one. So as we can see, he's gone with that sort of Mars-like um, look to it um, in the colour department as well. We can see it's 56 degrees, so it has got the higher temperature. It looks like it's a mercury texture, recoloured, and i got to say, it's a good-looking world. I think I think the colours, I really dig the colours on that. I think that's a good-looking world. So obviously got some different spots down there as well. But yeah, using the mercury for a crater texture, very nice stuff indeed there. So there is Siren's one. Okay, next up was Pluto Neon's one, I believe. Yep, that's right. So here it is. He's gone with the storm clouds. Let's have a little closer peek underneath um, the clouds and atmosphere. So there it is. Oh, wow. Very, very funky indeed. I do quite like that. So there it is there. So kind of like a neon sort of look to it. So as you can see, um, more ocean, uh, yeah, less ocean, ocean heavy, more land heavy, I should say. Um, not as many uh, spots of water on it. But yeah, there we go. Atmosphere and clouds back on. I do like the clouds. So that is uh, Pluto Neons. Yeah, those storm clouds, they are so cool. All right, next up we got um, Scario. I hope I'm saying your name right. But yeah, there it is, there one. So as we can see, got some funky colours below the surface as well. So blues, um, also have a deep blue and an orange look to it. So there it is there, looking good. Awesome stuff indeed. And then lastly, we have this one over here. So this was by uh, Chensich, wasn't it? So it looks like they've gone with the volcano sort of look to it once more. I do like that. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So, let's just see if anyone puts some descriptions in there. It doesn't look like we had many descriptions. Uh, um, so, right, there we are. So, yeah, Chen Sitch is one. Obviously got that sort of volcanic-looking area there, um, or an impact. So, there's a full look of the world. So, we can see underneath it's mostly like a yellowy sort of Martian sort of almost like look um, to it. Obviously got some spots of water on it as well. And then I'll see some nice white clouds to go with it on top of that. So yeah, there we go. So there's a full look of all the planets. So I'm um, just looking um, back at what everyone put for their description. So um, Scario, the planet is a hassable desert around 50 degrees. So that's this one. That's what they put in their description. Uh, then we for Sirens one. Uh, so this was over here. So he went with the Martian style for proximity. Clouds represent a sort of dust storm. And look at it from multiple data views to get a better view of how it looks. Okay, why not? Um, yeah. So that oh I do like the map there. So there's there's a good view of um how the planet is all um looking on the other stuff. So I think the uh, aerial view I think that's a pretty cool uh, pretty cool look there. So there's that. Okay. Um and I believe that was yeah that was mostly it. And then um oh and Exiled Neptunian uh, says unfortunately I don't know the exact size and mass so I just went with random inputs. I mean everyone's fairly got it around the correct sort of size. I think everyone's pretty much got it. I mean, Man Planet Guys looks to be the smallest, but I mean, I think everyone's got it roughly in the right range. I mean, look, you can't really tell, apart from maybe Man Planet Guys and Sirens, you can't really tell they're too far apart in size. So it looks like everyone's got the size of it fairly consistently, so that's um, pretty cool. So yeah, there's the uh, full lineup of them, but yeah, um, we'll quickly go over them all once more. So first up, we have Man Planet Guys one. So it had, obviously, the custom texture, got a very faint atmosphere going on it there. Then we had um, Exiled Neptunians. Going with the more Earth-like look and build to it. So there's that one. Then we had Vladizus's. Going with the dark green one. i got to say, I do quite like that one. Then we had Siren's one. Going with the Mars-like um, build with it as well. Looking good there. Then we had Pluto Neons. Going with the storm clouds and the funky coloured atmosphere there. Then we had... Uh, yeah, this one here. This was Chen Sitches. Oh, no, this is... No, Scario. I'm getting that. Got the last two guys mixed up. So, yeah, there's... um. There once that was the funky neon coloured one. And then lastly, Chen Sitch's one, going with that sort of volcanic impact area there. Looking good. Obviously the nice white clouds on it as well. But yeah, there we go, guys. So that is all of the objects of all the Proxima D competition. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. On the below. Obviously, make sure to vote for this because I am going to be taking the winner of the votes within the next 24 hours um, to use in the size comparisons. So this one, will go, this competition will be a little different to the normal ones. So I will want the uh, votes to be in as quick as possible. So yeah, there'll be a good 24 hours for you guys to vote, of course. Um, but yeah, that is that. So yeah, good luck to everyone in this competition. And yeah, we'll have to... Uh, wait and see um, which object comes out in the size comparison for this one because obviously the next competition next week 
that's when the winner will be announced. But obviously, if you want to have a sneak peek at the winner, then that object will be in the size comparison tomorrow. So you kind of get an early access view to it, I guess. But um, with that all said and done, guys, a massive good luck to everyone for this. And yeah, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Obviously, if you'd like to vote as well, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. But yeah, with that all said and done, make sure you have a great day, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And yes, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.